Well, well, I would say um, we have like different kinds of lands mm. in different parts of the country. And so like um, for areas like Accra and the Volta region, we have more about family lands. And then when you come to areas like the Ashanti region, we have two lands. Mm. Uh, maybe go up north, you have skin lands, right? And so even though these are different types of land holding arrangements, the acquisition process also differs a bit, but it all converges at a point, which is the lands commission, right? So if you're able to go through like the various ways you need to do your due diligence and acquire land, you still end up at lands commission to do your final registration, okay. which is like um, a big government book that all transactions have to be recorded. But looking at the processes itself, would you say that it's cumbersome or it's easy and simple? Well, for now, it is very cumbersome, especially for people that don't have any knowledge about land. It's very cumbersome. We, we need to really simplify it. And then um, over the years, we've done a lot of work. Um, um, lawyer Obey lawyer is my colleague at the GHI, so we are, we are both surveyors. So mm, mm. there's been a lot of good work done over the years, but we still need to consolidate it because, mm. like, there's still a lot of challenges in the system. What would you, was, would you love to see happen to make it simpler or easier? Well, first of all, we have some very good laws mm. in the country. Like, that's where the new land law is a the, very beautiful yeah, one. The new yeah. land at, at 2020 is a very beautiful one. Mm. We need to implement it. We need to also add a lot of technology. Now we have AI, we already have like geographic information systems, land management systems. So we really need to work with it. Like when you go to most of these, um, if, if, if someone is a family owning land, someone has like a family owns land, mm. let's say in Accra, I, I can tell you 100%, they don't have any record of the lands they are selling. Mm. You, you, you get it, right? Yeah, but I mean, we, we need to really add like technology and really need to put in place like lots of measures to safeguard people. Like nobody wants to take out, dish out 10,000 cities, 50,000, 100,000. Land goes as high as a million dollars in some parts. And of as low as 10,000. Let's say it was about 10,000. Yes, as low as 10,000. You can land for 10,000. Oh, no, it was designed though, actually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I mean, nobody Location. wants. Location. I'll tell you, <laughs> it's very important. Nobody wants to dole out their money to go and buy like problems or stress or litigation, mm, right? Mm. So we need to really safeguard people's investment. It's like when people want to take money to like an investment bank or they want to take their money. I mean, there's this um, deposit act that protects people's yeah, money. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's the same thing. Like it's, buying land is like going to deposit your money, mm. you know? So there, there should be a whole framework that protects individual. I know we are getting there. Mm. I mean, we are streamlining things. Um, the government is doing its bit, and there's okay. a lot of work still okay. to be done. So that, that's Sam. Sam. Sam is the CEO of Lands Home Consult. They sell lands. So if, if you want to buy some land, he's right here. He can sell some to you. Uh, they also build and sell. So we'll be talking about all that you know, shortly. Sure. But one of the key things that Sam made mention of, you know, Lawyer Mariku, is the fact that, and I mentioned it in my intro, mm -hmm. one of the key you know, components by way of documentation one needs when it comes to land acquisition 